Multiphysics Box 10 – Vibration Monitoring in Frequency Domain Welcome to this tutorial. Within the next minutes, we will demonstrate vibration monitoring in frequency domain with the Multiphysics Box 10. This includes an overview on the vibration data that is provided and on how to monitor these values. Chapter 1 – Vibration Data in addition to time domain, the Multiphysics Box 10 also monitors the vibration on a single axis in frequency domain. It is possible to read out the complete frequency spectrum with the Multiphysics Box 10, but this is just a snapshot. The frequently updated data is the information on the maxima or the peaks in the spectrum that reflect the essential frequency components of the vibration. In standard monitoring, the sensor provides information on the current amplitude and frequency of up to 16 peaks in the spectrum with the highest amplitude. Here, only frequencies whose amplitudes lie above the noise are considered. There are two peaks of special interest. The dominant peak, which is marked in yellow, and the fundamental peak, which would be marked in green. The dominant peak is the peak with the highest amplitude, and the fundamental peak is the peak with the lowest frequency. In our example, the dominant and the fundamental peak represent the same frequency. This is also often the case in real life applications because the vibration caused by the machine's speed is often both the strongest signal component and the signal component with the lowest frequency. If only dominant and fundamental peak are of interest, the monitoring can be changed from standard to reduced. Chapter 2 – How to monitor these values The main peaks in frequency domain can be monitored by setting limits. The simplest way is via teach-in, as the limits are set automatically based on the current measured values. There are two monitoring options – standard and reduced. In standard monitoring, the sensor outputs the frequency and the associated amplitude value of up to 16 peaks with the highest amplitude. And those peaks can now be monitored. As soon as the teach-in process is started, a tolerance window is placed around each of the monitored peaks. Appropriate limit values can be set for the frequency and the amplitude of the limit windows. The frequency tolerance is an absolute value which defines the frequency tolerance of the limit window. The amplitude tolerance factor defines the amplitude limits by multiplying or dividing the current measured amplitude value by this factor. The setting teach cycles defines the number of consecutive spectra analyzed. The teach process takes longer if the teach cycle is set to a large number, but the result of the teach process becomes more accurate. In addition to the peaks themselves, the frequency ranges in between two peaks are also monitored. A newly occurring peak in such an intermediate range is typically an indication of a fault condition on the monitored machine. The frequency range before the first peak and after the last peak 
is also monitored. As soon as one peak leaves the tolerance window, an alarm is triggered. If only the dominant and fundamental peak are of interest, the monitoring can be switched to reduced. Please note in reduced monitoring the areas in between the peaks and also the remaining detected peaks are not monitored. Besides the automatic teach-in function, it is also pos possible to adjust the limit values manually for both the reduced and the standard monitoring.